Isn't it wonderful living in a house that's a thousand years old, the foundation? Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. And the house that we're actually living in is only 600 to 400 years old, possibly with the most recent remodeling about 250 years ago. It makes you feel like you have some perspective on your life, doesn't it? Yeah. Life? I mean... Yeah. I'm Dylan. This is Ray. Ray's an artist, and in 1989 developed a piece with the avant-garde composer John Cage called Steps, inspired by automobile tire print, a work by Cage and Robert Rauschenberg in which they inked the wheel of a car and drove over connected sheets of paper. In true Cage fashion, it doesn't matter who holds the brush. The classical music publisher C.F. Peters is publishing Steps, as it's a composition for a painting. Having done many workshops, Ray and I are headed to Halberstadt, Germany to hand off the brush once more. Dylan, could you shake this? Just keep shaking this, okay? Yes. Because it's all settled in the bottom. And now... So finally we made it. <laughs> and now we started with a little introduction of what Ray and Dylan wants to do. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pour the ink into the two pans that we're going to step out of. We usually use roasting pans, aluminum roasting pans, but if we'd used them yesterday, they would have blown all over the place. This is very Japanese touch. We're going to add a little bit of gold. Gold in Japan is not valued for its value as gold. It's valued for its light-loving characteristics and its reflectivity, especially in darkened environments. So Dylan and I talked about what to do. And we decided that we would kind of carry each other over the paper. And that has become uh -huh. dragging, but now it's sort of lifting, because practicing it a few times, we realized there were physical limitations. All right. Stand up, turn around. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. So something like that. Here, you pretend it's me. This is working, but you got you got to be a little lighter than you are. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm gonna lean back. Yeah, I got you. I understand. You're pretty solid. I mean. Okay. Let me just get the extra pan. Just put that back in the plastic. So we'll move these trays down the other end. Mm -hmm. And do you want me to go first? Sure. You. Or, do you want me to drag you? I drag it. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not dragging anymore. We, we, Unless you'd rather... We're leave. lifting. We're rescuing. <laughs> okay. I think... Do we both put... Don't you put yours on the other mm -hmm. side, right? Yeah. No, this is a mobile plan. Yes, it is. We're both in one, one pan. Okay, hold you have got to hold it because I thought I was going to do it. Mm -hmm. I can do it with one foot. I don't think I can get two of my feet in here. I think you can. Here, put it in that one. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. All right, I'm going to step out. You can... you can just let me know when you're ready. You want to put your other foot in the other pan? I'm good. I'm good. Ready. Okay.
This is good. I'm glad. I'm going to walk up and down on this. We did these with the Cunningham dancers. These became great souvenirs. Ray has this expression that he always says. And the phrase goes, it takes a heap of living to make life a heap. What is a heap? you got to work really hard for the good things you want in life. Oh, okay. It takes a heap of living to make a life a heap. So, we've decided to title it Heap of Living. Heap of Living. <laughs> Especially after, just, uh, I don't know, we just thought it was appropriate given our history and friendship and, um, and also just with the, all the chaos that's involved in all the work that we've done together. It's just, you know, the heap. <laughs> the heap. The heap. Yeah. Raymond. I need your John Hancock. Okay. Have you signed it? Not you first. Cool. What did you do with those socks? Yeah.